important to think about all the stuff we did in the 80s and the 90s, and it's important to see how that connects to the present as well. And that's what we're working on. So.
about what everybody needs to know.
the moment passes, all the fires have been put out. We tore the walls down yesterday, but today we're busy building them back up. We lie about each other. We make plans against each other. We evict each other. We might even try to kill each other. We go to war with the people who live across the street. We go to war with the people who live upstairs. We go to war with the person who shares our bed. And we come face to face with this cop, which is us. With this landlord, which is us. With this racist, which is us. With this sexist, which is us. With this fascist, which is us. Is it any surprise that we become the mirror image of our oppressor? Were not we educated in their school? Don't we consume their drugs? Are we the targets of their media, their advertising campaigns? Haven't some of us also been rehabilitated in their institutions? Aren't we the descendants of slaves and peasants and fugitives? Has any of us ever experienced equality? What then do we know about it? and imagine it full of people. If we can look at a vacant lot and imagine a garden, then why can't we look at each other and imagine what we can become with time and work? It is a good thing to take up the struggle against oppression it is also a good thing to make mistakes in that struggle and grow wise. How else would we come to know ourselves? So something really amazing happened this week. Uh, I had no idea what happened, which is um, a judge in Pennsylvania uh, ruled that um, the appeals process for Maria Abu Jamal had been all fucked up and biased. And that means that he is going to get a chance to go into court with new appeals and possibly get a new trial. And I think a lot of people in this room know that this is a struggle we've been involved in. I mean, I've been involved in this since the early 90s. Uh, Maria was actually imprisoned in 1983, so this has been going on for a very long time. Uh, but there's now finally a chance for us to get him out of prison. And 2019 could be the year that we get Mumia Abu Jamal out of prison. But more appeals and more court dates means more pressure, more activity. The Fraternal Order of Peace, the police is going to be trying to beat that. And we're going to have to bring out people to go there. And I know there used to be a really huge movement for Mumia Abu Jamal in the 90s. And I think those of us who were involved in that need to do that stuff again. And those of us who aren't old enough to remember it really need to check this guy out and his books He's not only unfairly in prison for a crime he didn't commit, he is one of the greatest contemporary political 
writers. There is a street named after him in Paris. Check this guy out, Mumia Abu Jamal. Just had to put that plug in. Okay, we're gonna do two more comic strips. Um, what? Um, we're gonna do two more comic strips. Uh, one is a piece I did in the uh, 1980s that was done in stencils and spray painted on the streets of the Lower East Side. Right after that, there is a new comic strip which I just started working on and it's only in pencils and it's wordless. Um, so it's a brand new piece about the contemporary situation. So this piece is a piece I did in the 1980s as graffiti, now on the walls, now in the show. It's called The World Is Being Ripped. Human blood! 
Plaza Cultural right over there. I painted this mural in the 1980s. And this mural was to commemorate and honor the life of Michael Stewart, who was um, a young African-American art student who was murdered by the police here in New York City. Um, and at that time, um, there were a number of artists who did work addressing the murder of Michael Stewart. And there was a young woman um, who was living in squat on um, 8th Street, um, right near where this mural was painted. I don't know if she saw it, but right near there. And she also wrote a song about Michael Stewart. And I want to welcome Michelle Schacht to the Museum of Space. <laughs> 